Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. That's right, we're finally back doing some FNAF videos, I know it's been a little bit. We've been busy with Bendy and the Dark Revival, and also reacting to the trailers for the next Poppy Playtime game. But we're finally back with some more FNAF news, and we have an absolutely packed video for you all. Feels like we've got news on everything, we got a bunch of news on Security Breach, Pop Goes, U2's, Hex, Sanchi making a comeback, Pillow Pet, a brand new Tales from the Pizzaplex description, we've got a lot to get through. So honestly, let's not waste any more time. If you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. We're trying to get 50k by the end of the year. We're getting close, but also it's getting pretty close to January. And a lot of people who watch me aren't subscribed. And let's be honest, you know, I'm coming back to FNAF news. You're going to start watching these videos again. Might as well subscribe while you're here. So this is the description for it. Tales number seven, Tiger Rock. Have you ever had something stuck in your head? After a session in the VR booth at the Mega Pizzaplex, Kai can't shake the feeling that the Tiger Tiger animatronic somehow has stayed with him. The new attraction at the Mega Pizzaplex leaves Kane's mind full of intrusive thoughts not his own, and Drew and Liam's idea to write an expose in their school newspaper comes with unimaginable consequences. So those are a few short synopsises of the upcoming stories in Tales number 7. Looks like we got the Tiger Rock animatronic in a VR booth in the Mega Pizzaplex with Kai, a brand new attraction at the Mega Pizzaplex with Kane, not sure what that new attraction could could be, but most likely we're going to see a brand new animatronic character that's going to be at the Pizzaplex. Uh, and also Drew and Liam's, and I believe actually they were going to be in a previous Tales book, but it looks like they've been pushed back to number seven. But anyway, that's Tales 7. Let's move on. Actually, today we got a brand new Hot Topic hoodie revealed to us. It's got art of uh, Glamrock Freddy on the front. I believe this is a poster we can actually see in Security Breach. And then on one sleeve, it says, Freddy, you're on the front, supposed to be... And finally, on the last sleeve, on lockdown. So a quote from Vanessa kind of like wraps around the hoodie. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of it. Honestly, I think even the Freddy mouth alone, I would have been like, eh, it's still kind of boring, but I mean, at least it doesn't have weird text going around it. So yeah, just another strange piece of FNAF merchandise coming from Hot Topic. A piece of FNAF merch that is no longer strange, actually, is the upcoming Freddy Fazbear pillow pet. You may remember last time we talked about this little fella, his ears actually were a slightly lighter brown than the rest of his body. Thankfully, though, the folks over at Pillow Pet fixed this design issue, and now his ears match all the rest of his fur, and now I think he looks absolutely perfect. And apparently he's coming out pretty soon, not sure when pretty soon is, but they've been hinting at, you know, Freddy Fazbear coming soon for quite a while. And speaking of things that have not come out for a while, I guess that's a segue I'm doing, Sanchi's uh, Celebrate poster is actually back in stock. Over the past, I think it's been about two years, Sanchi has been slowly but surely re-releasing all of their past FNAF drops, and it looks like now, the Celebrate poster has finally come back. Unfortunately though, if you were a fan of Sanchi's uh, FNAF shirts, eh, I've got some bad news, because they say, unfortunately, at this time, it's unlikely we will be restocking any shirts in the near future. Though we do have some good news with Sanchi, and that is the fact that they're actually working on some brand new products. They replied to someone on Twitter saying, we have some new FNAF items in the works, but they won't be available until 2023. So finally, we're getting some brand new products from Sanchi. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to be. If I had to take a guess, I wouldn't be shocked if they try to ride on the success of Security Breach. Personally, I'd love to see some uh, glam rocks be made into the plushies like these guys up here. I think those would look amazing. But no matter what they pump out, I'm honestly just super happy to have them back on board. And also the other day, Hex Wave 3 featuring the toy animatronics and Balloon Boy officially released. This is what Toy Freddy looks like. As you can see, he looks adorable with his little microphone. Here's a look at Toy Bond. This is his full reveal. He looks absolutely amazing. I love his buck teeth. He's probably my personal favorite out of all the plushies in this new wave. Though I do wish he had a guitar strap with his guitar, kind of like what Bonnie had in the first wave, but whatever, he still looks amazing. Toy Chica's a little hit or miss for me. Doco did say on Twitter they will be making her eyes bigger, which I do think will help with the design, but also I'm just not really a fan of how the beak looks, especially with the teeth. Also, the cupcake has a blue base. It's just a little weird. I have a few nitpicks, but overall, I think she looks adorable. You can take off her beak and expose her metal endoskeleton mouth underneath that. That is absolutely amazing. And also, her Let's Party bib actually has a bow on the back, which again, I think just adds to her adorableness. <laughs> and finally, we have the enragement child himself, Balloon Boy, sporting his balloon sign and also a balloon itself. And also, his propeller on his hat, 
does spin. So wave three is officially out. If you want to go pick it up, I'll leave a link to the hex store down in the description down below. Anyways, let's just move on to U2s because they showed off a sneak peek at their upcoming spring trap figure. And this is what we got. Now you may notice his foot is green, which as I'm sure we've all known, isn't completely accurate to spring trap himself. He has an endoskeleton foot. I'd imagine what Austin showed off right here is just a quick prototype of the figure. I do think or hope at least that they uh, switch up the color for his official reveal and release, but you can also see that he comes with a stand. Some more U2's news, we've got our first look at a Vanny headband, I guess. I don't know, it feels like U2's just absolutely loves Vanny, so they're making anything they can with her. A mug, slippers, headband, <laughs> what's next, U2's? I'd love to see it. And they also revealed that the Glamrock Daco figure will hopefully be coming out around late December. Lastly, for U2's news, we've got a look at another kind of weird, strange piece of merchandise that is a Roxy keycap. I think it looks adorable, but at the same time, I'm not sure how helpful it'll be with pressing the actual escape button. And they also did say they have more Roxanne merchandise coming, which I'd assume just means more overall security breach stuff coming. A little while back, Kane showed off yet another look at the false Toy Freddy character coming in Pop Goes Evergreen, this time showing off that he does in fact have eyes. And lastly, with Pop Goes and Pop Goes Evergreen, we have two weekly devlogs to take a look at. For the week of November 18th, for the Pop Goes Evergreen section, Kane talks about working on some more environments for the post-night gameplays. Also that Alexis is currently walking on a false balloon boy. We're gonna get to know him a bit better in the next devlog. And he also reveals that the full lineup of false characters will be Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, Mangle, and Balloon Boy. Last thing for Evergreen, Emil and I have started running some tests in Click Team for the post-night gameplay, which is entirely different from the main night. It's really quite complicated and will require a lot of magic from Emil's end. I have nothing to say or show, but I will let you know that I am really impressed and excited about it. So is the rest of the team. And for the week of November 25th, Kane actually had a hidden teaser of the false balloon boy character. And as you can see, he's gonna be one creepy lad. He's got long arms, he's got a long body, kind of looks a bit like a nightmare balloon boy. Though Kane has mentioned that these characters, the false characters, aren't necessarily nightmare equivalents of the toy characters, but I still can't help uh, to draw the uh, connections. Kane reveals that they're still going forward with programming stuff for the post-night section of the game, and he also talks about making a brand new dynamic song for the post-night sections. Even saying that there's a preview of the brand new track at about 50% panic in the Bear in Mind video. For the Pop Goes Arcade section, Kane claims that the game is officially 100% finished. Which is very exciting, because now they get to move on to actually porting the game, Click Team is working with us directly, so we should have direct support on things like shaders. We'll be working on the iOS and Android first, and I'm not entirely sure whether console ports will be possible for Arcade by itself, or whether we need to wait for Evergreen so they can be bundled. Personally, I hope they can be sold individually, waiting for Evergreen feels like a waste of time, but we'll see. And lastly, Kane announces that people have been getting their orders for the Pop Goes the Weasel U2's figure. People have also been getting their candy and T-Jock uh, ignited uh, Freddy figure, which unfortunately I'm lonely. I don't have either of them just yet, but they have shipped for me, so hopefully pretty soon I can get them. But that was just a quick skim through of the two weekly updates for Pop Goes, which by the way, again, I'll leave them all linked down below whenever I talk about the weekly updates, because I obviously can't mention every single detail in the post because they're quite long. So if you want a deeper analysis or you just want to read through the full devlogs, again, they'll be linked down below. And now we move on to the final piece of news for today, and that is Security Breach and also Steel Wool Studios, because Steel Wool actually up updated their online store to include some brand new FNAF products based around Security Breach. There's a lot of artwork of the characters, almost all of which we do see in-game, so it's actually kind of neat to see items from the game be turned into real-life merchandise. I think that's amazing, so again, if you want to go take a look through all the brand new products, I'll leave a link to the store down below. And also, since we last had a FNAF News video, Security Breach officially released for Xbox, releasing on Xbox Series X and S, and also on Xbox One. And also, Maximum Games, who are the people who handle all of the uh, physical releases for FNAF, they made an announcement saying that the Xbox port of Security Breach is going to be launching in North America on December 20th. Later on, they also made a tweet announcing that the Xbox version of the Collector's Edition will be launching in North America on January 7th. So some very exciting news, Security Breach has finally made its way onto Xbox almost a year late, so you know, it took a bit of time, but honestly, 
I guess better late than never. Well, that's gonna do it for all the FNAF news for now. I know it's been a little bit, but hopefully we're gonna go back into the swing of things going into December. I got a lot of FNAF videos planned, but I also have a lot of other videos on other games. Because, I mean, have you checked the calendar? We're getting so many brand new game releases uh, next month. I mean, looking at my calendar alone, we got Project Playtime and Hello Neighbor 2 both releasing on the 6th. Choo Choo Charles on the 9th. I know I see a lot of people in the comment section talking about Choo Choo Charles, and that's also a game I'm super excited for. So yeah, just a bunch of content coming out next month, and I hope you're looking forward to it. And also, if it's not FNAF, I hope you can at least give it a shot. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this FNAF News video. Once again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.